Okay, good people. Continuing some more examples, we have y double prime minus 4y prime plus 5y equals 5x plus 1. Now, first, the, the corresponding homogeneous part, well, that's going to give the characteristic polynomial of r squared minus 4r plus 5, which is r plus 1 times r minus 5 equals 0. <clears throat> and that's going to give us our, our, C, our C. We'll write the, that's going to give us our yc. We'll, give, we'll write the yc later. Let's now look at the yp first. So because of the 5x plus 1, uh, that's a first-degree polynomial. So yp is also going to be a first-degree polynomial. yp equals ax plus b, which means yp prime is a, and yp double prime is 0. And when I take this and plug it back into the original differential equation, I get 0 minus 4a plus 5 times ax plus b equals 5x plus 1. Again, I'm just taking these values here and, and plugging them into the original equation. And that, that becomes 5ax plus 5b minus 4a equals 5x plus 1. So you just uh, solve and you get a equals uh, 1 and b equals 1, which means our general solution is going to be y equals k1 e to the negative x plus k2 e to the positive 5x uh, plus x plus 1. And again, I, I want you to check out these solutions. I want you to check the solution to make sure it works and upload your checked solution, your checked uh, checking into, the, uh, into our Google Drive. Next, y double prime plus y prime equals x squared plus x plus 1. It's a new example. Now, notice that there's no y term. See, here there was a y term. Here you don't have a y term. Well, because there's no y term, that's going to force us to make y equal to a third power of x, x to the third power. See, because, because if, if y was just x to the second power, I would never have an x to the second power in my answer because, because I only have y prime and y double prime. I need y to be a higher power for, to happen. So yp is going to be ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx, and yp prime of course, is uh, a 3a x squared plus 2b plus c, and yp uh, double prime, I'll make that clear, yp double prime, of course, is going to be 6a x plus b. If I combine, now, I'm not adding in my yp, because there is no yp in the original differential equation, I'm just going to add these bottom two, and that's going to give me yp double prime plus yp prime equals x squared plus 2, and when I plug that in, that's going to give me 3ax squared plus 6a plus 2bx plus 2b plus c equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. And when I solve all that, I, I basically have three equations with three variables. And I wind up getting x, a equals 1 third, b equals 0, and c equals 1. Which means yp is just going to be 1 third x to the third power plus x. Which means our final total solution is going to be y equals k1 plus k2 e to the negative x plus one third x to the third power plus x. Uh, let me make that yeah, nice and clear. And I just want to say, where did I get the k1 and the k2 e to the x? I, I didn't mention that part. It's kind of easy. So let me just show you. And that really just comes from if I have for the corresponding of yc double prime plus yc prime equals zero. So my characteristic polynomial is r squared plus r equals 0, which gives us r equals 0 or r equals negative 1. That, me, that would yield the e to the 0 or e to the negative 1 uh, x. So that's why I get y equals k1 plus k2 e to the negative x plus 1 third x cubed plus x. And this is my uh, whole thing in one shot. And I'm gonna, always going to take a picture of this and put it up in our Google Drive. I am out. That's how the professionals do it.